Let's start with the good news. Alberta is uh, is expecting to see a larger surplus than expected. Uh, what is driving that growth? Well, there's a couple of factors driving that growth. Of course, uh, we've got a we've had a relatively strong bitumen royalty uh, continue throughout the year. But I think the more significant factor is really strong income tax from both the corporate and the, the personal income tax uh, realms, which just shows that Alberta is not just attracting people, but we're attracting businesses and jobs. And it's really helping us develop and it's creating that very stable base for our for our finances right now. Look, I know you've got a lot of plans uh, for what you want to do with the surplus and uh, being fiscally responsible is top of the list. We've heard the Premier speak about it several times. Uh, why is why is paying down debt such a focus for you? Well, paying down debt is really, really important because uh, if, if you don't, it comes back for refinancing. And, and what we're seeing now is some of the financing by the government uh, between 2015, 2019 is due for renewal right now. And in the next three years, I think we have $26 billion of refinancing. And just the cost on that is going to be over $300 million annually of debt servicing payments. Like that's a lot of schools. That's a lot of hospitals. That's a lot of work that we cannot uh, invest in because we've got to pay that debt back. So we just have to manage it. It's really important. I'm sure Albertans can relate, as you well know, mortgages coming due and uh, with the interest rates uh, spiking as they have been, uh, thanks to inflation from the federal government, everything is getting more expensive. Uh, look, we always hear about the boom and bust cycle of the oil and gas sector. I know your government has been focusing on diversification. How are we doing on that front? We're doing amazing on that front. I think it's three years in a row we've led venture capital investment, uh, setting records for Alberta and amongst the top in Canada. I think this last year we've had over $534 million in venture capital invested in our tech sector. But as you were talking about with Minister Jean, we've seen the, the petrochemical industry with Dow just continue to grow. We've got film and television, like the, the series The Last of Us happening in Alberta, one of the largest in history. Uh, we've got finance and financial tech also in there and agriculture and food processing. We are seeing growth on all kinds of new regions that we haven't in the past, just providing that stability. So we're not just a, a one trick pony, but we've got industry growth across the board. Look, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about utilities before uh, before I let you go. You're the minister responsible for utilities, of course. Uh, you know very well what it's been like dealing with Ottawa and the unrealistic demands on, uh, on uh, our power grid. Any update on those challenges and anything that Albertans need to know? Absolutely. We, we need Albertans to know that as a government, we're standing up to Ottawa and we're standing on behalf of Albertans. We understand the grid, we understand their electricity needs, and we understand the challenges of, of where we want to go. I believe that, that we, so we agree with the federal government and the majority of Albertans that we want to get to a, a more carbon neutral future. We want to do that in an affordable way, which means we've got to make strategic and careful investments over a time frame that allows us to do that without seeing a doubling or tripling or even a quadrupling of people's utility bills each month. It's They're high now. They are coming down. We've got more and more natural gas coming online. So we expect to see us getting back to that historic less than 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, but we also want to make sure they're making good investments in our transmission, good decisions in our distribution, and allowing the system to work to serve the needs of Albertans. That's one of the reasons why we stood up with the, the Alberta within a United Canada, the Sovereignty Act, so that we can we can stand up for Albertans and say, this is what's best for Albertans. We're going to stand here and we're going to make sure that we fill the gap and we, we do what's required to get there in a way that we can all afford it. Mm -hmm.